Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in Rotherhithe. Now it's a bit windy here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by showing you the River Thames and then we're going to get out of the wind. So there's the Thames, some of the Thames clippers just going past, heading out towards the estuary. So that way is looking towards the estuary, panning round, no mistake in that way, towards the City of London with the Shard standing in the background. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do, is we're going to go down underneath the Thames through the first tunnel to be built underneath the Thames. So the tunnel I'm talking about is known as the Thames Tunnel by Brunel. Now what we're going to do first is this building here, the old pump house I believe it is, is the Brunel Museum, which is very good, but we're not going to go in there today, although I do recommend a visit. We're going to um, go down through the tunnel. I just thought I'd show you. So this is the Brunel Museum. One thing I really like, what they've done, they've made seats out of Brunel's bridges. So you've got one there of the Royal Albert Bridge at Salt Ash, complete with a train crossing it. You've got Clifton Suspension Bridge over there as a seat. And just over here, where it says Tunnel Road, you've got Maidenhead Bridge as a seat. So that's the Brunel Museum there. What I'm going to do is... As I said, it's very good, but I'm not going to go in there today. I am going to take you through the Thames Tunnel, which was built by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Now, it wasn't originally built as a railway tunnel, which is quite unusual. There's a few places around the UK where there is buildings that were originally started life having a different building, or different use rather, and became railway buildings. One example was Staines West Station, that was a private house and it got bought by the railway company, but anyway, perhaps that can be a video for another day. So today we're talking about the Thames Tunnel, it was built by Brunel between 1825 and 1843. It was built as a tunnel underneath the River Thames. Now, just another little tangent, there's a rather amusing train painted on the wall here, it appears to have animals travelling in it, as well as boats and lighthouses, very unique, and some carriages, as Father Christmas of all people, and there's the locomotive, looks like one of Brunel's broad gauge locomotives. So what we're going to do, we're going to start here, this is Rotherhive Station, it's now part of the London Overground Network, I shall, I'll just cross the road so you can have a look at it. No cars coming, so I've got to quickly run over the road. So that's Rotherhive Station on the London Overground. We're going to go down through there. So this is the railway bridge here. We're going to go into the railway station or, and um, go down into the Thames Tunnel. So I'm just going to walk through here. This is the entrance. I'm just coming up to the ticket barrier. Let's hope my ticket works. <laughs> Typical, my ticket didn't open the barrier. Just bear with me a minute. Excuse me, my ticket. My ticket didn't open the ticket barrier. So I'm just having the ticket barriers opened for me. Thank you very much. So I'm now into the station and we're just coming up to the escalators. <laughs> We're just going down. These are those funny escalators where they're moving really slowly all the time, but as soon as you step on them, they speed up. I'm going to walk just to speed things up a bit. So we're now going to go down. It's the smaller shaft at this end. So as we come here, this is the Thames Tunnel. It might be a bit noisy, but I'm going to try and shout so you can hear me. So as I said, this tunnel was built between 1825 and 1843. There's a train just leaving, so we're going to have to now wait for another train. But they are very regular, although that does give us time to have a bit of a look. So, down on the platform, that's a train heading south. We need a train. We've got one coming in two minutes heading north. Now, you can't really see it, but the actual Thames Tunnel that we've come to see is down there. So what happened? When the tunnel was opened, it became open to pedestrians. So there's effectively two tunnels with arches between. Now at Wapping Station where we're going to go there's more pictures of the tunnel but unfortunately 
there isn't so many here there's more sort of artwork so it's harder to explain just watch this train go out that's London Overground Capital Star class 378 so this is Rother Hive Station which we've come down to we've just got to wait for our train so what I was saying was the tunnel down there is effectively two tunnels with arches between each tunnel so what happened was people could walk through one tunnel and in the other tunnel people had little stalls so in the arches between the tunnels they effectively had a market which was must have been quite novel but as you can imagine you can see how wide it is it would have been very cramped so it didn't last and it did flood a few times so eventually in 1865 it was sold to the East London Railway who began to convert it into a railway tunnel so as you can see they built another railway tunnel that way that's looking down the track in the opposite direction so they sold it and it became 1869 it reopened as a railway tunnel and then it carried on life as a railway tunnel eventually became part of the East London line I remember traveling on a stock train that's our train so hopefully our train is about to arrive so yeah I remember traveling along here with a stock trains and um, in four carriage a stock trains and then it eventually closed as the East London line to become conversion to London Overground so it reopened funny enough um, it reopened in 2010 eight years ago yesterday on the 27th of April so today I'm filming this on the 28th of April it may be a bit later when I actually get round to publishing it so we just got to wait for the train now it's more it's going to be quite hard to show you the arches between the tunnel because it as you imagine it's dark but when we get to the other end there's a few pictures and I'm going to take you up the shaft and out the station at the other end so still can't see any sign of our train that should be here by now that light you can see up there isn't a light on the train you may be able to hear water they do pump a lot of water out of this tunnel each day Is that a I can hear the train coming that's good so our train's coming so it'll be a capital star a class 378 so here it comes now forming a service to Dolphin Junction So our train arrives, number 378154. That's quite busy, so bear with me if I don't talk too much. So the trains arrive, and I try and get in where it's a bit quieter. It's less busy down this end, so let's get on the train. So here we go, we've just stepped on to the capital star and we're just going to pull out the station so the, as you know it's Rotherhive station we're about to pass through the tunnel it's only going to take a couple of minutes there's a, another is that, yeah, there's another train just pulling in in the opposite direction so that's just come through the tunnel so we're now about to pass through the first tunnel under the River Thames so it really is quite a important piece of London and indeed not the World Railway's history, even though it wasn't actually built as a railway. So we're now passing through the tunnel. So you can imagine people would have walked through here. Now the walkway would have been no wider than this train. And all along here, all these arches, there'd have been little stalls. And in the other tunnel, uh, that's where the vendors would have stood. So I don't think just see the trains now climbing again. So we're about to come in to into Wapping Station. Just pulling in now. And still can't really see arches. So here we are, we've arrived at Wapping Station. Might be able to get a better look at the tunnel here. 
just, I'm just stepping off the train. Um, now everyone's going to walk past me because the entrance is at this end. So I'm just going to stand here while some people walk past. And I've just found a very good illustration. If you look here, this illustration shows what it would have been like. So people would have walked through there and these arches I told you about, that's where there would have been little market stalls. If we walk this way actually, just for a minute while we wait for the train to go out, I believe there's some quite nice pictures of how it once looked. So there goes our train, another one just pulling in. You can just see the tunnel looking down that way. So that train's now about to pass through the tunnel. What I wanted to show you was this picture here. That's a whopping. So there's a steam locomotive pulling in, just come out from the tunnel. Now this is, you can actually see, if we go and have a look now, you can see the lights in the tunnel. I don't know if you can see that, whether the camera's going to pick that out. If I go right to the end of the platform, it might be a bit more obvious. So if we stand just down here, at the end of the platform, you can see the old Thames Tunnel. You can see lights of another train. And there's one train just going into the opposite tunnel. So, There we go. Now before the next lot of people come off the next train, I'm going to take you back up to street level. So we're now on the north side of the Thames. This really is quite an impressive, we're going to go walk up the shaft. It's much deeper on this side. So there are lifts, but I'm going to take you up the steps. So I don't know if you can see above us, we'll go all the way up here, up this shaft. So this is the shaft where they would have dug the tunnel from. So it really is quite an impressive for, for a railway station. It certainly is a unique part of the National Network of Britain. So what you can see there is the lift shafts. So we're just coming. It's quite an unusual way. All these twists and turns up all these steps. And one thing that's quite interesting is all bridges and tunnels on network rail have numbers. Well, this isn't a bridge, what we're now isn't a bridge or a tunnel. See, it says ventilation shaft. So that's the number of the ventilation shaft. So we're now at the top at, of the shaft. So my ticket lets me hide. Mm, typical. Hello, my ticket didn't open the barriers. Is that right? Thank you very much. Right, so I've been let out. I think the reason I see it didn't work is because I'd previously just come the other way. So I'm across the road and finish here. That's Wapping Station. You can see even how the flats behind have been designed to go around the ventilation shaft. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're in London, do come and have a trip on this line and visit the Brunel Museum. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.